Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on March 4, 2019, and it's 5.18 p.m. Birmingham. And topic, well, uh, again, we're, we're going to talk about uh, a widely anticipated release of a peace treaty. But let's go to Europe and talk about those who are creating major problems today as we speak for the Jews. And Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, any Zionism is the new form of any Semitism. And look, I've watched this grow, and I know you have too, but I just had no idea that your average neighbor, the the sweet couple down the street, you know, they work and they get a babysitter maybe once a week and go out and have a nice lunch or something, husband and wife, but yet they're down on the street corner carrying flags and they're bashing the Jews. I don't understand that. Why? What did the Jews do to you? Well, to start with, the Bible does say that Jerusalem will be a burdensome stone for all people. All people. That means everyone in those days. And it seems to be coming about in our day right now. And it's grown from a hit and a miss. First, it started when you were having refugees leaving parts of the Middle East and migrating into European countries, all, all the way up into to Russia. But as they go in, you see that they are badly mistreating the women and even go as far as rape this nice quiet couple that would work hard all week and then on weekend get a babysitter and go out and eat but yet one of them the the woman gets raped by a bunch of islamic muslim how does that make you hate the jews are you embracing the Muslim and taking your anger out somewhere else because it's not the Jews that are doing these things? But yet, anti-Zionism is, is really taking form. And it's something that, that, I, that I hear on the news, that I see. And it's unbelievable that you have a party leader, a Labor Party leader, and it's Jeremy Corbyn in, in the UK, there's been a number of people that has left that party because of him and his hatred toward the Jews. A large number of people have left. They don't they don't stand with this man. They say this man is crazy that where he got his views and why he's got those views and why he is using the federal government to propel his party inside of his job is really strange. Why is that being allowed? Well, they have a, a demonstration or a march or a peaceful protest where at that protest, you get a thousand policemen hurt and the government did nothing, then there's a problem there. Who is the government? Is the government more Muslim than they are European? For whatever reason, they're not defending their own cops. And then you go to France, you have Macron over there. 
This man is 100% anti-Zionism. He's been 100% anti-Semitism. And people that talk about him and know him says as long as they've known him that he has hated the Jews. But yet he doesn't know why. He's not been harmed by them in any way, but he hates them. So you have Macron. He's high up in the federal government of France and using that as a launcher for his hatred of the Jew movement within the federal government of that country. You also have Jeremy Corbyn, the United Kingdom Labor Party leader, that's going to take over Theresa May's job because she didn't vocal more against the Brexit movement. But it's not what she did or didn't do about that. It's their way to build on a party within the government so that they can absolutely do what they want with the Jews. I hope all the Jews leave all this part of the country, every bit of it, because these people are idiots over there. They're fools. They're nutcases. Really, that's, you know, when they hate someone that's never harmed them, where where where'd they get this? What planted that in their mind? I mean, can that be based on Matthew twenty four twenty four? Even the very elect will be deceived if it were possible. Well, these people are certainly being deceived, and I hope that people hear this and the followers, the Pylon movement, on top of that, will back off. Will say, "Wait a minute now." Why are we doing this? And fight that that hurts you, not that that has never hurt you or that that's peaceful. But they hate the Jews, I, I guess, because the Muslims came their way. I don't know. They don't know either. They can't answer that prop, that question. But here's another. You have... A widely, and I mean widely, I mean millions, I mean hundreds of millions of people are watching this today, anticipated release of a peace treaty drawn up by Jared Kushner. What is in this peace treaty? Now, we know that he's gone to many countries and he's gained support in for each country, each country may know a little bit of that peace treaty because it may involve them. It may help them in a small way. But no one knows what's in the whole treaty. Five people only. Five only. I'd say Jared Kushner and his wife. I'd say Donald Trump. Perhaps his wife and one other, and I don't know who that one other person is. I have an idea, but I don't know. And then in the middle of all this, you have Magog rising. You have a new front that is teaming up with none other than other countries who hate the Jews. God, when is all this going to end? When? Maybe this is why this peace treaty is, I think it's carrying with it something that when it actually gets there, that it may not be possible to move forward with it. It, and, and I say that because it may actually mention a time frame. I don't know. I'm just 
guessing off the top of my head. It may have a time frame in it. It may not. It may bring peace to Israel and to the Jews for a short time. But this is also what the Antichrist will do. He'll offer them seven years, but he'll remove that offer in three and a half years. And, and again, as I said before, when that peace treaty is offered, I believe it will be a number of years after the rapture of the church has taken place. The church has been gone for a while, long enough for some sort of stabilization to have reoccurred for there to be a little bit of calmness in the world because on a rapture, all hell is going to break loose. It'll stay that way for a long time and it will take time for that to, to come to a point of where people will feel at ease while many of them seek Jesus every day, that'll not stop. There'll be others who will choose to kill you because you seek Jesus every day. You are left behind, and you're not going to be again. So France, your European countries, and, and Macron and Corbyn, you guys or nothing but, but panty waste. Really, you're nothing but cowards, and you have a pile-on mentality with you. And that's all you are. You're just little, tiny Hitlers in the making, and you're going to lose big. Jody Wolf Exposed.